Ever wondered how much charging your phone is, right? In this digital age, understanding the ins and outs of phone charging is crucial. There's a lot of misinformation out there, leading to common misconceptions. Let's delve into the science behind phone charging. So, what exactly happens when you plug in your device? Picture this. Your phone's charger acts as a power supply, converting alternating current from the wall socket into direct current that your phone can use. It's a bit like a delivery service, but instead of packages, it's delivering electrons. Now, the capacity of your battery measured in milliamp hours determines how many of these electron packages it can hold. Lithium ion batteries, the type most commonly used in phones, store these electrons in a delicate balance between lithium ions and electrons. The voltage, on the other hand, dictates the speed at which these electrons are delivered. It's like the speed of the delivery truck. Now that we understand the science, what does this mean for your phone charging habits? You might be surprised to learn that some common charging habits aren't exactly ideal. Many of us have a tendency to leave our phones charging overnight or plug them in when they're near dead, right? Well, these habits can actually shorten your battery's lifespan over time. Ideally, you should aim to keep your battery between 30 and 80% charged. It's a sweet spot that helps maintain your battery's health and longevity. So the next time you plug in your device, remember these tips. In summary, charging your phone isn't as straightforward as you might think. We've delved into the science behind phone charging, debunking common misconceptions along the way. Remember, the sweet spot lies between 20 and 80%. Constantly topping up to 100 isn't ideal. And don't fret about overnight charging. Modern devices are smart enough to stop when they're full. So keep these facts in mind the next time you reach for your charger. Your phone's battery will thank you.